Hi, this is Kamesh. I work for ITAcademy.in. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to work with the lookup transformation in SQL Server integration services. Before I show you this practically, let me explain to you some basic concepts about the lookup transformation. Lookup transformation is a kind of equi-join basically. So wherein you perform a kind of equi-join between two different uh, data sets. So we're going to perform an equi-join between the values in the transformation input and then the values in the referenced data set. And we also use the lookup to access additional information in a related table that is based on values in common columns. So imagine you have two different tables and then they both have a common field between them and that's the time you would like to fetch some additional information from the additional from the from the related table and then you want to club the information from both the tables and then put into a destination. So to explain to you this concept practically let me take you to my SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio and um, we will see how to implement the lookup transformation. So I'm in SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create a new project and it's going to be an integration services project and I'll call this project as some lookup demo and then I click on OK. This is an integration services project, what I'm selecting here. So once the SQL Server integration services package gets, I mean, the solution gets created, we'll actually go ahead and try to create a package for ourselves. If you can see in the view and solution explorer, by default, you already have a file with the name package.dtsx. Let me actually rename this to lookup transformation demo dot ddsx so as you can see in my sql server i'm currently having two different tables with me one is called as the product table which i consider as master table in this demonstration which has a field called as product id as a primary key and we also have another table called as sales order detail and that actually has product id as a foreign key so this is how for the sales order detail table, the product table is a lookup table. So that's how I'm going to base my example on the product as well as on the sales order detail table. So we'll try to fetch a couple of fields from here and then a couple of fields from the sales order detail. For every sales order ID, there's a product ID and I want to get the product name, uh, maybe the product number or color based on the product ID that is found in the sales order detail table. So to get this done, let's come back to your business intelligence development studio and then try to drag and drop a data flow task onto the control flow. And that's where the data migration we actually initiate. Double click on the data flow task. And in my case, my source is a SQL Server database. So I'm dropping OLEDB source. And also, I am going to drag and drop lookup transformation. And the records, the output should be Excel destination in my case. You see some cross symbols here. That means so you, you haven't still configured these things properly. So unless you do that, these cross symbols don't go off. So let's double click on the ValueDB source. And you can see that I'm actually working on a database called as AdventureWorks LT2008 database. This is a sample database that you can download from codeplex.com. So I click on new and then imagine that you don't have any data connections here. So you can, you can click on new and just type the server name. In my case, I'm typing dot because I have SQL Server on my local system. And then I select my database as AdventureWorks LT2008 and I can test my connection. Everything is OK and OK and OK. So what is a table you want to actually play with is the sales order detail table. You can also have a quick preview of the records what we have in the sales order detail. And you can notice there are plenty of product IDs here. 
and then when I click on the columns collection it is actually showing me all the columns from the sales order detail I, I don't want to copy I mean migrate all the fields maybe I'm interested in only these five fields and say okay you can also provide some nice caption this is products info sorry the sales order details info and uh, finally you can notice here there are two different uh, we, can, we call it as dangling lines one is a green and one the other one is red so basically the, it's a green line that we actually connect to the next activity if all goes well it, it takes this path if anything goes wrong it can take the failure path in this demonstration i'm considering the success path so double click on the lookup transformation and it is asking you what is your connection type so that you get connected to the lookup table i'm going to use the oledb connection manager in this demonstration i'll explain to you in the next video about the cache connection manager now i can click on the connection and um, what is the table you you'd like to use as a lookup table that's going to be my product table and then in the columns you can see it's the product id to product id you want to establish a relation so whenever there is a perfect join, equi join between this product ID and this product ID, I'm trying to get these uh, four fields as name, product number, color, as additional columns from the second data set. So this is the fields that I have in the uh, sales order detail table, and these are the fields in the products table, and we are establishing a link between the product ID of the sales order detail with the product ID of the product stable and we click on OK. Again I connect my green line to my Excel destination and then so what is the what are the what are the things that you would like to pass on to the Excel destination? Obviously I'm going for the lookup match output. There is another output called as lookup no match output means in case um, if there are any product IDs that are not getting matched to the product IDs in the product table then those things takes the lookup no match output in my case I'm going for the lookup match output and I click on OK so all the match records will go to the this Excel destination I can double click on my Excel destination I can create an output file here so I, I want to have the output as lookup output and dot xls file i say okay and i also keep the first row as column name so that you'll have the column headings in the excel sheet say okay and now you need to create an excel sheet here so i click on new so you can see it's going to create um, a, a table it, it, basically this script creates a sheet for you in that excel file so i've got plenty of fields here. you can notice here all these fields are actually coming from the uh, sales order detail table whereas the remaining things are actually coming from the what do you say the product table here so anyway I don't uh, you can notice here this is lookup dot product ID which I'm trying to get it from the products table so you okay so the moment you create a new Excel sheet you can see uh, you have to select the very first one not the one ending with the dollar sign and then when I take you to the mappings you can see already all the mappings are there so basically how many fields are going to get migrated we have the order id detail id we have the quantity unit price name product number color and uh, let me take the product id as well so that um, i will have the product id in my excel destination as well so we're almost done say so okay everything is nice and uh, let's go ahead and try to build a solution when I test this package for the first time uh, you might see an error as I expected because Excel when you have Excel destination in your package you, know, you need to actually ensure that you run it in the 32-bit platform so I can press F4 and I can take you to the properties under deployment and debugging sorry you have an option called as run 64-bit runtime this ta this has to be made as false because here we are running it in the 32-bit platform here because Excel connection manager doesn't support 64-bit runtime 
now let me try to build the solution one more time uh, and then try to test your package so this time the matching should happen now you can see the sales order detail was actually having 542 records and the lookup also gave you 542 records that means um, every product id that i have in the sales order detail has a matching product id in the product stable so is the reason the source number of records and the destination number of records are same pretty nice so let's stop the execution of the package and then let me take you to the outputs folder and where i have my excel file so when i double click on the lookup output.xls you can see the fields coming from the sales order detail as well as from the from the uh, from the product stable you can notice here the order id detail id quantity the product id the unit price they're all coming from the sales order detail table wherein name product number and color were actually coming from the product stable that's how we have all together eight fields out of these eight fields five have come from the sales order detail table and another three have come from the product stable of course i have selected some extra column by default by mistake that's okay so because i can see the product id is pretty much here so for the product id 836 the product name is this so that is how a lookup means it looks for this product id in the lookup table and gets me the product name product number and color so that's how lookup transformation helps you to pull the data from different tables based on an equijoin so that's all about the lookup transformation. In the next video, I'll explain to you how to work with the cache transformation as well. If you wish to buy full-length videos of MSBI, please visit itacademy.in and we'll be able to help on that. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day and bye-bye.